The central limit theorem states that a distribution of sample means will have the same mean as the population mean. So that's kind of a lot going on in that sentence, but basically what we want to understand it as is when we have individual values uh, with a mean and standard deviation that are given and we draw a sample, we're going to stay at that same central mean value. So looking at individual measurements or looking at samples, the middle of it's going to stay in that same spot or the mean's going to stay the same. Whereas the standard deviation will change. As the sample size increases, we will decrease the deviation from sample to sample. And what we do is we take that standard deviation from the original population and divide it by square root of the sample size. And we call it standard error just because this term is kind of long. It's the standard deviation of the sample means. So looking at one sample to the next, the sample means will have this standard deviation uh, or standard error. This one with two decimal places is 